<clears throat> well, good evening. I thought I'd try uh, another lesson here. Blind Willie McTell's Broke Down Engine. As a disclaimer, I'm going to say this isn't going to be uh, note for note what he plays on his uh, recordings. There are two versions of, at least two versions that I know, of Broke Down Engine, and it's a loose interpretation if you ever, um, but um, I actually learned my version from Ernie Hawkins teaching. So there's a DVD out there where he teaches um, Blind Willie McTell. And years ago I learned this. I don't even know if I'm going to be um, going by that too much. It's just kind of things I pick up from the lessons. I mean, back whenever I was learning how to play from how to play Broke Down Engine from Ernie Hawkins, I couldn't play it, so I would play it as best as I could with, um, I, I didn't finger pick back then, I would use my pick, and, and I just did the best I could, so that's what I suggest you do the best you can. You're not going to pick everything up, if you can pick everything up, that's great, but it, it's not meant for you to pick everything up, you just pick what you can up and do what you want to do with it. So I'm going to start, I'll play a little verse for you, see what, see where we go. That's the basic, um, the basic verse structure, I suppose we can use that word without sounding too, uh, too, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. We want this to be as informal as possible. We don't want to talk too much about structure. Anyway, what I start out with is this, um, just a simple, um, G note which is the first string, third fret, a little bit of a bend, a little bit of a pinch air, just, just ever so slightly. And then let go, open, and then that's the uh, third, uh, third fret of the second string. And then you can uh, You hit that A note there, just walk it down, open to the G, and then you get that. So that part is pretty straightforward, it's loose. I don't think Blonde Willie McTell was really, I don't think he even was in a certain time, well he was playing a certain time, but that was my poodle puppy just burping. Anyway, but it was very loose, speaking of structure. That's what, it, it wasn't always four beats in a measure. Anyway, the way I started out the verse, which is what we're looking at here, is um, start with this E. Feel like a broke down engine ain't 
beat, so you got this boom, chick, boom, chick. Broke down engine, ain't got no driving wheel. So here we're just simply going up to your E7, and which is your D7. Just walk right up. then down to your, so you walk that down, bah, 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 to your E. And it just realized, I might play a little less like Blind Willie McTell here and more, and then play more in a style of Gary Davis. Not that I'm saying I play can play anywhere near what he plays, but the way I use my right hand, where it's like, I'm only using these two a lot of times, where it's like, you get this thumb going and so I'm not doing like a Mississippi John Hurt where I'm going with this boom it's not that it's more of a uh, pretty loose it's even syncopated at certain parts anyway <clears throat> Once we get that done, so you got feel broke down engine, ain't got no driving wheel. We're back to that. Now I learned this from Ernie Hawkins um, in the uh, lesson he gives, which I suggest you seek out and listen to, because there are a lot of he does Statesboro blues. There are a lot of um, videos, a lot of uh, songs that he teaches on that. So. I'm not trying to steal his thunder, but um, hopefully just lead you to him. Anyway, once we hit that E, then we're doing this walk up A, open A, and then chromatically up. Bum. So you gotta work on that. You're using your finger. Just bum, like almost like a pick. And then once you hit that E, do you mind? Now the poodle wants to go outside. Anyway, we hit the um, A, go up to the B flat, the B, the D, there he laid down, the D, the, um, D, uh, the E flat, and the E. Once you hit that, you form a partial E7. So you're gonna get that D right there on the third uh, third fret on the second string, and then the third um, string on the first fret, and that's all you need for it because you're gonna you get that. So boom, ba 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 ba. Then you I put that little roll on there. And then once we then we go hit the A. And this is part I kind of so I, I take I take it an A. I think Blind Willie he he just kind of plays it more loose where I'm using more of a chord because so I just take that A and then I bring it down. And that's basically all on that. So if you like broke, so from the beginning, broke down engine ain't got no driving wheel. There's that. If you like broke down engine ain't got no driving wheel. Where you bobbing down lonesome? So you're down back. We're back to here. You bobbing down and lonesome. You know just how a poor boy feel. So you got that head E. We're popping down them. Bring it up to the E7 uh, up here. You, and then you slide it over to this, um, it's this B7 form. But you're taking it up to the C sharp. And then you're walking that down to the C, to the B, E. So you all been down and lonesome where you know just how a poor boy 
feel I like to syncopate that just a bit so it's not just you know the downloads away you know just how a poor boy feel it's more you all be down a lonesome way, you know just how poor boy be. You're getting that, like, damn feel. More like you're rolling down a hill instead of mm, kind of stumbling down a hill instead of running down a hill. You all be down a lonesome way, you know just how poor boy feels. And then this riff that I've been using is this. Beep, ba, 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 ba. So it's. So it's that G we're going back to, 3rd fret, 1st string, open, and then the open, and then the D, 3rd fret, 3rd uh, fret, 2nd string, open, 2nd string, and then this kind of... That's more of like... I think I pull off there. Yep, that's all pulling off. So I hit that uh, third string, third fret, and and then just walk it right down to the second fret and pull off. So that's something just to work on there, and that's something that helps me. I mean, you can use this riff on anything. Same with this, I mean, it's a Robert Johnson riff. So once you pick up a certain riff, there are so many places you can use that riff. So really, now that we got that, You can do more. Sometimes I only play like these uh, three strings, the third, fourth, and fifth, so that so other times I play it all so you get that nice, that nice dissonance there. And you can use the walk up. And then, sorry, I just realized I tilt my guitar back a little bit. Now for the Lordy Lords, or the Lordy Lords, I go, um, Lordy Lord, Lordy Lord, Lordy Lord. So here we're going up to this, um, Let's see, this seventh fret of the first string, and this um, eighth fret of the second string. So you go, and then you hit that ninth fret. And then you can get your pinky involved there. I can sometimes I bring it down. So I play um I'll play for you through a few verses and see uh, how that goes.
I have kind of screwed up the words, but you get the idea. Don't you hear me, baby, rapping on your door? Get a uh, thump thump in there like Blind Willie does. Don't you hear me, baby, rapping on your door? So again, I recommend just pick up a few things off of this. Don't I wouldn't go try to do it verbatim. If you're only using a pick, use a pick. And if you don't want to do, don't start out with every riff. Just play an E for crying out loud. And don't you hear me, baby, rapping, crows you, rapping on your door. Maybe you don't even want, and just work on that. Or don't you hear me, baby, rapping on your door. Maybe that's all you want to do for now. Don't you hear me, baby, rapping on your door. Or don't you hear me tapping, tapping across your floor. Don't you hear me? Or maybe you don't want to do that some. Don't you hear me, baby, rapping across the floor? Totally countrified. Well, that's maybe a good idea. So I hope you have fun with that. Learn some blind willy. Learn lots of blind willy. And I uh, uh, hope, hope this helps you out.